Today we're diving into the life of Jesus Christ himself. But hold on to your sandals because this isn't your grandma Sunday lecture. Now when it comes to Jesus, there are more theories than there are stars in the sky. Some say he's the son of God, others suggest that he's a prophet, and some people suggest that he was just a really nice guy with good PR. But what if I told you he wasn't from this world and he was from an entirely different place? Just, well, 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 don't go nowhere, just relax for a second. Let me, let me, let me elaborate. Some theories suggest that Jesus was not born to a virgin, but rather he arrived on earth in a spaceship. There's some evidence to back this up. Have you ever wondered? Have you ever wondered? Have you ever wondered where Jesus disappeared to for 18 years between childhood and the ministry? Some suggest that he was chilling in India, studying with the gurus. I know what you're thinking, this might sound a little bit crazy. There's evidence to support these claims. The Dead Sea Scrolls. There are references to beings descending and performing miracles and spreading wisdom. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole and uncover some of the cosmic clues hidden within the ancient texts, like the emerald tablets and other scriptures. The emerald tablets attributed to Hermes contain cryptic messages about the nature of the universe and the secret of immortality. Some believe that these tablets hold the key to understanding Jesus' true origins. In one passage, Hermes speaks of being from a distant world who visited Earth in ancient times, imparting knowledge and wisdom to humanity. And there are scriptures from various religious traditions that hint that extraterrestrials are actually a thing. There are descriptions of flying saucers. So even in the Bible, there are passages that could be interpreted to some kind of interaction with UFOs. Ezekiel's vision of the wheel within the wheel. So when we piece together all these ancient texts and connect the dots, we start seeing the bigger picture. But remember, interpretation is key. What one person sees as evidence, another might see as a coincidence. The truth is like a diamond in the rough, waiting to be discovered. So make sure you verify your information before you run out and start telling people the things that I'm telling you. And then everybody's going to start thinking you're crazy, kind of like what you're doing right now to me. But other than the mainstream stuff that you inherited from everyone, what other options do you have? Take whatever your parents have given you. Maybe trust the schooling system. It's kind of like a teacher that gets paid 50000 a year for a salary telling you how to be a millionaire. This is the type of people that we're going to get information from because it's not verifiable information. Now, it's not about the person that's delivering the message. It's about the message and where the message is coming from. So keep digging, keep questioning, and never stop seeking the truth because who knows what kind of cosmic revelation is waiting for us in the vast expansion of the universe. Jesus was like the Indiana Jones of his time, but instead of a whip, he had a message of love. Some say Jesus was the original Jedi, turning water into wine and walking on water like it was no biggie. Let's separate facts from fiction. Here we have evidence that Jesus was an actual time traveler. Think about it disappearing for three days then coming back like hey guys did i miss anything it's time to crack that case wide open and join me on this journey through history myth and maybe a few conspiracy theories to cover the truth behind the man the myth the legend jesus christ so buckle up folks because it ain't your average bible study did you know that jesus real name was yashua bet you didn't know that and every time you say Jesus, you're actually saying Hail Zeus, a term created by the Roman Empire to transition from the Roman paganism to Christianity. Hail Zeus! So Yahshua translates to Joshua in Hebrew and is believed to be an Anunnaki hybrid, half human, half extraterrestrial. He was sent to earth to elevate humans' consciousness and bestow higher vibrational frequencies upon mankind. However, the Roman Empire and the Catholic Church twisted and hid his teachings and his life story from the public. So this narrative is drawn from the ancient agnostic Christian texts like the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, the Naj Hammadi, which were excluded from the Bible by the Vatican. So according to these texts, Jesus embarked on a remarkable journey during his formative years to Egypt, India, and Tibet. At the age of 12, he ventured to the pyramids of Giza with his mother Mary to become an initiate at the ancient Egyptian mystery school. From here, he traveled to distant Eastern lands like India and Tibet, where he acquired knowledge of reincarnation, the cosmic spirituality, and the art of Reiki healing. 
The prophecy of his birth was delivered by the Anunnaki, mistaken as angelic beings of God possessing advanced technology. In the biblical text, the angel Gabriel conveyed the concept of a virgin birth, which could have been a result of artificial insemination or in vitro fertilization. This motion draws parallels of the ancient Sumerian Babylonian tablets, where similar genetic methods were used to birth the first Homo sapiens sapiens Adamo, or Adam. Joshua and his mother embarked on a journey to Egypt to facilitate his initiation into the ancient Egyptian mystery school, which taught the revelation that death was an illusion. Now, your understanding of Jesus Christ comes from the stories that are in the Bible, which was put together by Constantine, the Roman Empire, that converted to Christianity for political reasons. So I'm left with questioning if this man chose what ancient scriptures got to be put into the Bible, and we know that this man wasn't inspired by God, what are we really following? Could there be truth in other areas, you know, like the more ancient scriptures that reference Jesus, but we don't know that type of reference because we don't look at the ancient scriptures? And if so, maybe we should open up our minds to the possibilities that there are other perspectives of who Jesus Christ is, at least other than the ones that we've been spoon-fed. And that's all I got. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and if you didn't, oh well.